Jay Gurudev. Welcome to Shri Shri Yoga. In today's sequence, we'll be looking at the Surya Namaskar. In the Surya Namaskar, it's more important to allow the asanas to flow one into the other. The Surya Namaskar can be done either fast or slow or medium paced. The faster paced one is more as a cardiac exercise. The slow paced one helps to tone the muscles in the body. So whatever your speed, there's something happening. At the same time, do as much as you can. Do not force. As Patanjali says, Sthiram Sukham Asnam. Do as much as you can. It's good to do 12 rounds of Surya Namaskar. Six on one side, six on the other. But make sure you do as much as you can. Do not force yourself. Do the asanas with a smile. Enjoy the stretches. Jai Gurudev. We'll be starting the Surya Namaskar. For Surya Namaskar, come to the front of your mat. Keep your feet together. Balance your weight equally on both the feet. Tuck your tailbone in. Chest expanded. Shoulders relaxed. Keep your gaze neutral. As you breathe in, lift both the arms up from the sides. As you exhale, come into prayer position. Palms together in front of the chest. Arms parallel to the floor. This is a position of strength both physically and mentally. As you breathe in, lift the arms up and back, keeping the biceps close to the ears. You may push the pelvis forward a little bit. If you're feeling strong in the neck, then you may drop your head back. Make sure you're reaching up with the fingers rather than trying to bend backwards. Remember in this position, the effort is to stretch the whole body up from the heels to the tips of the fingers. As you exhale, bend forward from the waist, keeping the spine erect. And as you exhale completely, bring the hands down to the floor beside the feet. You may bend the knees if necessary. Bring the palms down to the floor. Now with the palms on the floor, make a gentle effort to straighten the knees. It's a good idea to keep the hands fixed in this position and not move them henceforth till we finish with the sequence. As you breathe in, take your right leg back as far back as possible. Bring the right knee to the floor. Look up. Make sure that the left foot is exactly below the left knee. If they're not aligned, you may take your right leg back a little bit. In this position, make a gentle effort to push the hips down towards the floor and look up. As you breathe in, take the left leg back, the whole body in a straight line. Make sure you're not taking the hips up or down. Make sure the arms are perpendicular to the floor, the shoulders above the hands. Bring the knees down to the floor. Exhale, take the hips back slightly. Slide forward, chest and chin on the floor. Make sure the hips are raised up a little bit. The two hands, the two feet. Two knees, chest and chin on the floor. Since eight parts of the body are touching the floor, this is also called the Ashtang Namaskar. Keeping the hands and feet where they are, slide forward, raise the chest up into Bhujangasana, the Cobra posture. In this posture, it's okay to keep the elbows bent, but keep the shoulders away from the ears. Look up. As you inhale, Make a gentle effort to push the chest forward. As you exhale, make a gentle effort to push the navel down. Tuck the toes under. Make sure you're doing as much as you can. Do not force. As you exhale, lift the hips up. Lift the tailbone up. Bring the chest downwards. Adho Mukshwanasan, the downward dog. Make a gentle effort to press the chest down towards the floor. Keeping the heels down, make a gentle effort to lift the tailbone up. Going deeper into the stretch. Breathing in, bring the right foot forward in between the two hands. Left knee down to the floor. Press the hips down, look up. Make sure the right foot is directly below the right knee. The right calf perpendicular to the floor. In this position, make a gentle effort to push the hips down towards the floor. 
as you exhale bring the left foot forward keep the palms on the floor you may bend the knees if necessary now keeping the palms on the floor make a gentle effort to straighten the knees see if you can touch your nose to the knees keep breathing as you breathe in roll the spine up hands go up and bend backwards a little bit pushing the hips forwards a little bit make sure you keep the biceps by the side of the ears more effort to stretch up rather than stretching backwards and as you exhale first straighten the body and then bring the arms down relax in this position observe the sensations for the sake of completeness we'll do the same thing with the left leg together this forms one set of surya namaskar Jay Gurudev welcome to Shri Shri Yoga In today's sequence we'll be looking at the Surya Namaskar In the Surya Namaskar it's more important to allow the asanas to flow one into the other The Surya Namaskar can be done either fast or slow or medium paced The faster paced one is more as a cardiac exercise the slow paced one help to tone the muscles in the body So whatever your speed there's something happening At the same time do as much as you can do not force as patanjali says sthiram sukham asanam do as much as you can it's good to do 12 rounds of surya namaskar six on one side six on the other but make sure you do as much as you can do not force yourself do the asanas with a smile enjoy the stretches jay gurudev stand at the front of your mat feet together about 2 inches apart Take a deep breath in. Exhale, Namaste. Stay there. Keep breathing. As you breathe in, slowly take your arms up and back. Biceps touching the ears. Make an effort to stretch up and then to go back. keep breathing in each position exhale bend forward and down bringing the palms by the side of the feet bending the knees if necessary keeping the palms down on the floor make an effort to straighten the knees keep breathing see if you can bring your nose towards the knee Breathe in through the right foot back as much as you can. 
left knee is directly above the heel calf perpendicular to the floor right knee on the floor push the hips down look up inhale take the left foot back in line with the right foot body in a straight line dandasana bring the knees down exhale take the hips back slide forward chest and chin on the floor keep the elbows close to the body breathing in push the chest forward and up hips down to the floor you may keep the elbows bent if necessary look up exhale lift the hips up bring the head down adho mukshanasana the downward dog press the heels into the floor lift the tailbone up push the chest down towards the thighs breathe in right foot forward in between the two palms right knee directly above the right heel left knee on the floor press the hips down look up keep breathing exhale left foot forward palms by the side of the heel you may bend the knees if necessary see if you can touch your nose to the knees breathe in arms go up and back exhale bring the arms up and down from the sides release the stretch namaste breathe in hands go up and back exhale forward and down arms by the side of the feet make a gentle effort to press the nose down towards the knee breathe in left foot back left knee on the floor right knee above the right heel look up push the hips down inhale right foot back body in a straight line 